Islam, Islam, peace, love, and power, energy, 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 energy. I am Shade Renee L, and I'm back at it again with another video. civics questions for Moorish children. All right, got to free the children, free the nation, free ourselves, all of the above and some. And 33 civic questions for Moorish children. This is to be used as a starting point and to clear a few things up. However, it will need to be refined and made more clear by more or more bites. I'm actually just going to read straight through this. This was actually published by Kamara Gabriel, Improper Persona Sujuris, published in 1997 AD. All right, and this is from Taj Tariq Bey, Knowledge is Power and North America is Under European Colonization. That is the main motivation and reason why the Inquisitionists and their colonist descendants continue to resist any sincere efforts made by anyone who would institute a system of proper and pristine education or for a balanced curriculum for the suppressed and branded aboriginal indigenous moors of north america moors themselves must enforce their rights to strengthen their distinct political economical social and cultural life of the state the supreme substantive rights are documented and supported by national and international law. We Moors must enforce the law in order to save the nation. I'm in raw to that, so mote it be. All right, so question one. What is your nationality? I am Moor. Question two. Why are you a Moor? <laughs> Gosh, what's wrong with them? Today's the 20th. It's the um, inauguration day. And I stay by the military base. They be doing weird stuff. I repeat, number two, why are you more? Because my mother is more and her mother is a more. Number three, why are your people called Moors? Answer, because our land is called Morocco. And since we are from this land, we are Moors of Morocco. Number four, what is a nation? Answer. A nation is a family of people who are all descendants of one common mother. They have a common land, a common language, and a common law called a constitution, a common flag, and a common national seal. Number five, what are people of nation called? Answer, nationals. Number six, what do we call nationals who do not call themselves more? And it says we call them by their national names. Again, study for yourself, all right? I'm reading these questions straight through. What is a constitution? Answer, a constitution is a law of the nation and its land. Number eight, what is the name of our constitution? Uh, my constitution is the great law of peace. That was the answer for this. Um, but remember, we are part and, part, part and parcel of the US Constitution and you know we're protected by the Treaty of 1830 no 1786 and 1787 and 1836 all right moving right along here what number eight what is the name of our Constitution okay I said that already number nine excuse me where did your Constitution come from and the answer that they have here is my constitution is modeled for universal law which rules all of creation it is all law and our common law mother teaches it to us number 10 how does your common mother teach the law to you answer 
She teaches me through nature. <sighs> Breathing in that good old prana, baby. And if I study nature, I will learn the great law of peace. What is nature? Nature is common sense. What is the name of the common mother of the Moors? The first mother of the Moors is Zudakias. That's the answer. And number 13. How many daughters does Zudakias have? The answer is 12. Number 14. What is the language of the Moors? Answer. Our language is Latin. Latin is the root of all languages and Moors should study Latin. <laughs> Moving right along. Number 15. What is the flag of the Moors? Our flag is a red flag with a green five pointed star in the center. This is the answer. The green stands for the planet Venus, who is the goddess of love and beauty in Moorish folklore. The red stands for the planet Mars, who is the sun of Venus in Moorish folklore. Number 16. What is the nickname of our flag? The answer, the cherry tree, because of the red and green colors and because it stands tall like a cherry tree. The red and green also stands for the common blood and of our people share a common land that we all live and come from. All right, number 17. Who chopped down the cherry tree? Answer, George Washington. Number 18. Is there another flag for the Moors? honor besides the national flag of the Moors? Answer, yes, we honor the continual flag of the land of Al Morocco's Americas. It is the red flag with a green cedar tree in the, car in the canton, excuse me. We also call it the treaty flag. Number 19, what is our national, national seal? Answer, the great seal. Number 20, what does it look like? Answer, a pyramid with a eye on the top in the center of the circle on that fiat, that Federal Reserve notes. And number 22, who are the so-called Indians? This is a good one. They are Moors, okay, who have been led to believe that they are not Moors. Number 23, who are the so-called Blacks? Another great question. They are Moors, okay, who have been led to believe they're not Moors. All right, number 24. That's a good one too. <laughs> Who are the so-called Latinos and Hispanics? Answer, they are Moors, okay, Moors. Who have been led to believe they are not Moors. If you look into the word Latino, you will see the root word Latin, the language of the Moors. My brothers and sisters. Man, I don't even know why they be hating. They're my brothers and sisters. Number 25. Who are the so-called whites? Answer. Some are foreign nationals and some are Moors who have been led to believe that they are not foreign nationals or Moors. That's actually true. If you look it up in the Black Laws Dictionary, like, uh, Free white persons. Yep. Number 26. Are people identified by colors? Great question, because no. No. They are identified by national names. My national name is Moroccan. Number 27. What is the name that people call Morocco today? Answer. Many people call our land America. North America, Central America, and South America. The word American comes from Al Moroccan. Number 28. Did anyone ever discover America, the Al Moroccs? Answer, great question. No. Our Moroccan ancestors were here already. Number 29. Isn't there a Morocco, isn't there a Morocco in Africa too? This is a great question. Because people ask me all the time, I go to Walmart or something, you know, I pull out my national ID because I'm tax exempt. They're like, you're from Morocco? Oh, like, oh, Africa? Like, no. So, the answer 
Yes. Well, I'm not from Africa. I might read the answer. Yes, those Moors are brothers and sisters from across the shores. We have the same flag and we share the same common history and future. But don't let them like be like, oh, you're from Africa. Like, this is Morocco. And over there, too. I mean, this is all Morocco. Morocco. All right, number 30. What does the DC in Washington, DC stand for? District of Columbia is the answer. Number 31. Who was Washington? Answer. The ninth president of the United States of America. He was not the first president. Number 32. Who was the first president of the United States of America? Answer. John Hansen. And number 33. What is your nationality? Answer. I am more. Morocco. All right. And again, those were the 33 questions, 33 civic questions for Moorish children, save the children, free baby Ashe. And it was written by Sister Kamara Gabrielle. Shout out to Nobil Ju Ali. Shout out to CM Bay. Shout out to everyone who has taken the time to check out the video. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your time. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and stop trolling. Please stop trolling because you're not going to get a response. You want this good energy, but you can't have it. So if you leave a negative comment, it's just going to stay there because I'm not going to respond. It's not worth my energy. It's not worth my time. I have things to do and work needs to be done. All right. Until next time, peace and love, Islam, free baby Ashe, energy, 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 peace.